On missions night, I chose Haiti because A, I had never been out of the country on a missions trip before, and it just sounded like a really fun place to, to be able to grow closer to the Lord and also grow closer to a team. At that time, Krista and I, my girlfriend, didn't really have a bunch of close friends at Journey Church, and I think uh, just going to Haiti and being with that group of people, I think we had 24, just that 24 grew so close at the end of the week. My favorite part about Haiti was being able to go into the villages and kind of have a face-to-face -face experience with many of the, the people that live there. And some of our translators were from some of the villages that we went into, so we got to kind of speak to them in English and ask them questions about, you know, what their people are like and what their towns are like and, and what the, you know, kind of how Christianity has developed within the towns. and. Just getting, being able to talk to those people, you know, face to face was just an awesome experience. And that's going into the, the week, that was what I was most looking forward to, was being able to, you know, speak through a translator to these people and just ask them questions and about how their lives are on a daily basis and what their relationship with the Lord is like. And it was also great to be able to see a couple occurrences of, you know, people meeting the Lord and, and being saved through prayer with the translator. You know, he's using these people in Haiti to show us that, you know, we have it we have it good and you know, they have not even close to as much stuff as we have, materialistic things, yet they still love the Lord that much. So, you know, why can't we have that fire for the Lord even with all the things that we have? I would encourage someone to go on a mission trip through Journey because first of all it gives you a chance to kind of test God's promise that He will provide for you and He will give you the chance to serve for Him. And you're in a different country, you don't know anyone else there but your team and your team leaders, and that really, you don't have any other choice but to just draw together as one team and, and one small community to be able to achieve your tasks and to grow closer as a team and closer to the Lord. This summer has really been a crucial part of my life, especially my spiritual walk, and it really just kicked off my summer. And I had a great summer spiritually and just continued those relationships with the friends I met in Haiti. And overall, it was just the best decision I made this last summer.